Dermal fillers have revolutionized the practice of aesthetic medicine for the face. Today, podiatric medicine is using dermal fillers to relieve pain in the foot. Hi, I'm Daria Nichiforova, Adelor Podiatry Associates. Today, our doctor, Valerie Ambinder, is here to tell us about this amazing and exciting development. Yes, hi, good afternoon, Daria. Right, so dermal fillers are pretty cool. Uh, we actually use them to plumb up any lost volume in the body. But how do you apply this for podiatry? As we age, uh, we actually lose the padding on the balls of our feet, and that could lead to metatarsalgia, pain in the ball of your foot. It actually develops over time. As you age, you lose the cushioning on the bottom of your feet, and that is called fat pad atrophy. And you would need to get it recushioned with ejections of a dermal filler. So you don't experience this suddenly. It's a mild, achy pain, and it gets worse during the day when you, as you ambulate more and more on the loss of fat pad, and uh, that causes metatarsalgia. I see. So if you experience this pain, you come to the doctor, mm -hmm. what's the uh, plan of action? So first, we always take x-rays just to rule out anything serious, like a stress fracture uh, or any types of uh, neuromas that you could have, like a compression of the nerves, so we always want to rule that out with an x-ray and an ultrasound. So what causes pain in this situation, in, in the situation of losing the fat pad? So you're actually just walking on the metatarsal heads. You don't have any cushioning. You lost all of the cushioning in your the front part of your foot. And it only gets worse as you age and when you're on your feet. So what are the options? What are the treatment options? Okay, so there are several types of dermal fillers that we use. We have uh, a short-acting hyaluronic acid injection that usually lasts for a couple of months. Uh, it gets reabsorbed by your body. Uh, another one is Sculptra, which is a longer-lasting uh, biocomposite uh, suture material and we could use that as well and that lasts for up to 12 months and it stimulates collagen. Is it safe? Yes, Daria, this is a safe procedure. We've been using this compound for several years, over 40 years. Uh, of course, there are risks of any surgery, uh, but we do have it in a sterile technique environment, so the risk of infection is minimum to none. And there's always a risk of bruising to the area, pain, but you do walk out in a surgical shoe, and the next morning you could just put pressure on and wear your heels to work. So Sculptra, what is it exactly? So it's actually made out of poly -L lactic acid, which is just a fancy term of saying it's ground up suture material. And we've been using suture material for over 40 years in our practice. And it's a, it comes in a powdered form and we just reconstitute it, make it into a liquid uh, with uh, sterile saline. And we also use a local anesthetic and we inject it into the bottom of your foot. How about hyaluronic acid injection? So hyaluronic acid injection is for a different indication. It's used for osteoarthritis of your joint. We naturally produce hyaluronic acid in all of our joints, but with age, it could be a wear and tear situation where you're not producing enough hyaluronic acid, AKA lubrication to the joint, and we have to inject hyaluronic acid into the joint. Can it be used for the uh, fat pad to restore the fat pad? Right, so there is a hyaluronic acid that's in a gel form that is used uh, for the fat pad as well, but that's a shorter acting uh, dermal filler and it gets reabsorbed by the body naturally within a couple of months. So how often should I do this procedure to maintain the results? Uh, so actually, there are different types of dermal fillers. So the one that is shorter acting, uh, you would have to come in a couple of months depending on how your foot feels. If you have uh, continued foot pain three months, four months out of the, uh, from using the dermal injection, then you, you would have to come in to get it evaluated and possibly get another injection. If you use Sculptra, it's a little bit longer acting and uh, that Sculptra actually stimulates collagen formation, so you would need less and less of it over time. So the first injection might even last you a lifetime. Thank you, Dr. Mbinder, for explaining mm -hmm. this amazing treatment options for foot pain. Delure Podiatry is always on the cutting edge for more effective and less invasive treatment options for foot pain. 
This puts you back in the swing of your life in no time, pain free. For Delor Podiatry Associates, I'm Daria Nichiforova. See you next time.